Hello and welcome to Keeping It Real. I'm David Grossman here on AllTalkTV.com, broadcasting from Fitzgerald's Pub on Queen Street. Great to be here, and I'm very pleased to introduce you to a gentleman named Justin York. He is with uh, Rapid Can, and this company takes care of uh, mold remediation, uh, water, flood damage. They also do renovations, so you yeah. guys are... Construction, uh, renovation construction. work. Yeah. So they're into a lot of different things. And Justin is a co-owner and uh, managing yeah. partner. Justin, welcome to the yeah. show. Great to have you here. Well, thank you for having me today. Uh, it's a pleasure, of course. It's, it's uh, my pleasure. As you know, the show is... Uh, we, we, do, we deal with a lot of real estate issues. And yes. um, dealing with issues of uh, mold remedi remediation, uh, especially. I mean, there are other issues, but... Um, that, that is a really important one, uh, especially in a city where, you know, the buildings are, are in many cases getting older, some of the houses are getting older. Today we want to talk about, uh, in particular, condos and yes. yeah. dealing with mold in condos. Now, why is this uh, yeah. becoming an well, issue? Yeah, why we think it's uh, an important thing, especially in condos, is in uh, Toronto uh, is the second, uh, uh, has the second largest uh, amount of high-rise buildings. Uh, we have about... 15, for the past couple of years, we've had about 15,000 new units going up in the city uh, every year. And I think right now we have over 50,000 uh, units under construction. So uh, I think it's important to discuss the matters in condos because it, it works a little bit differently uh, in a condo than it would in a home. And because we're, you know, in the city core here, uh, and there's so many buildings, I think it's important for people to hear about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when we were talking earlier, you, you mentioned something interesting to me, too, about um, when these problems pop up. Like, a lot of people might assume that um, it's, you know, not yes. something they have to worry about. Yeah, certainly. There's, uh, uh, you know, the general idea is because uh, everyone's paying maintenance fees that anything, uh, you know, sort of within the condo is looked after by the building. But a lot of the times, and most of the time, that's not the case. Uh, there's a big misconception there. where And people have to understand that everything inside the unit, for the most part, is your responsibility. So what you're finding, uh, especially with the, the HVAC unit, which is the mm -hmm. air conditioning and heating units inside the unit, is that uh, it's kind of overlooked and people aren't taking, uh, you know, do, taking care of it and you know, doing maintenance work to it. And what we're finding, especially there, is that there ends up being a lot of mold problems. Mm. So, so what should people be doing, um, right. condo well, owners? The, the unfortunate thing about the HVAC unit, the air conditioning and heating, is it kind of ends up being the perfect recipe to have mold problems where you have uh, hot and cold water, depending on the time of year, uh, temperature change and fluctuation. You have uh, organic material, which is the insulation. Uh, for, which is a food source for the mold, of course. And you have a lot of dust and debris and generally an unclean area just because people don't open it very often. You, know, you need to change the filter. You need to do things like that. Um, so what RapidCan does, actually, is we provide a service uh, to condo owners, and a lot of times it's prearranged with the building already mm. uh, just because they like this, you know, some property managers, some companies like to take it upon themselves to at least provide sort of a maintenance service to these units because they know, you know, certain things aren't looked after, such mm -hmm. as changing the filters uh, and making right. sure it's operating. So Rapid Can, what we do actually is we'll go in, you know, we'll clean the unit, vacuum it out, uh, change the filters, and make sure everything's in working order. But what we're finding in a lot of older buildings, when we first arrive on site to do this service, you know, we do it annually or semi-annually, um, is that uh, we're already finding that there's a lot of mold problems already existing within the units, mm. where we have mold growth on the insulation uh, or in the drip uh, pan or sometimes even on the filters if it hasn't been changed for a really right. long time. So, so what kind of uh, problems do you, do you often find? Like are people in for, uh, you know, major repairs and, and what are some of the health issues well, that, that are Right, face? so, uh, you know, the health issues are the same whether it's a home or a condo. Uh, you know, people have uh, allergy issues, allergic reactions, uh, asthma episodes. They have, uh, you know, dry throat, um, their, you know, itchy ears, itchy mm -hmm. eyes, all sorts of things. But, you know, the important uh, thing to think about here is uh, you're not only in a condo, you're not only affecting your own health, but you mm -hmm. could be affecting somebody else's health, health right. because you share, you know, walls, common areas, things like that. Uh, 
So it's important to you know understand that if you do have a mold problem and you know it doesn't bother you, mm -hmm. uh, you should definitely uh, still you know take care of it and deal with it because you know you could be affecting somebody else's health right. who might be you know an infant child or an elderly person who have a lower immune system and you know it affects a lot more. Right. And I suppose there could be long-term effects too. Like, you know, you might think that it's not yeah, exactly. hurting you. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, you know, we don't know all the effects of mold, mm -hmm. and it affects everybody differently. So we're not always sure, you know, right. what what the effects are going to be. Uh, so it's in, you know, in a condo, it's especially important just because there's there's so many different people, uh, and it could be affecting other people as well. Yeah, I, I think it's a good idea if the condo management undertakes to. Um, to go check the individual units yeah, once in a yeah. while because so, some people are going to neglect it. Exactly, that's the fact and, that, and, that's, and that's what they do, you know. Right. A lot of condos are very responsible in that uh, effect. And like I said, companies like us will come in and will provide a maintenance service to check on the unit, make sure that there isn't any issues. And if there are, we can report them and, and then deal with them accordingly. Mm -hmm. That's another thing that we do is within the actual unit, we can, you know, provide a service to remediate it so we can actually get rid of the mold too. Right. Yeah, I, th I think that's very important. So if people are, are watching and if, if, if you live in a condo, uh, if you live in a condo and your condo management is mm -hmm. not doing this, it's probably a good idea to talk to the management yep. about getting this done because, I mean, you can do it in your own unit, yeah, but if your yep. neighbor... <laughs> Is, uh, is not doing the same thing, then yes. everybody could suffer. Yeah, definitely. Right. And, uh, you know, it's, it's something that some condos do go ahead and do and, you know, take care of it, but uh, it is the individual owner's responsibility. So, you know, some people will take it upon themselves and some people won't, unfortunately. Yeah. Justin, um, now I know the, the company RapidCan, your partner um, started the company a number of years ago. Yeah, and, yeah. and you joined the company a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. RapidCan as a whole, you know, we've been around for uh, the greater part of 10 years or so. And I've been with the company for about uh, two or three years now. Um, and uh, what we've sort of wanted to bring together was the contracting side of things mm -hmm. and I have a lot of experience uh, in, in the property management field is that's what I did before I joined rapid can right and that's where I think we're unique as a company is we like to look at jobs and projects uh, from you know the clients point of view and that's what I think uh, you know I've brought to the company and I like to instill in our in our employees and look after each job as if it's uh, you know you're working in your own home, mm -hmm. and uh, we've had a really successful uh, you know couple years since I've joined the company in providing that type of uh, thought process behind our jobs and our work. Right, right, and and uh, you know I don't know if that's the reason that you're we're t one of the reasons maybe you're talking about condos is because you you know condo property management and is something that. Um, uh, they need to take care of, and if you come from that background, then you probably can, you know, exactly, you, you know, know the issues, exactly. about get, you know, yeah. dealing, because getting in to see these tenants, you know, at the right time, I'm not home, I'm home, yeah. and then, you exactly. know, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, you have to be very neat and prompt and everything. Yeah, like you got to, so. you know, you got to be, you got to be uh, really well-rounded and, mm -hmm. you know, dealing with people, you got to be patient, you got to, and there's a whole different assortment of things that, you know, you got to deal with when it comes to condos, which is the management, the homeowner, sometimes tenants. So, you know, without that sort of management experience mm. that I have, uh, you know, it, it's a lot more challenging. But because we, we have that experience and, you know, our employees are trained that way, you know, we do a really good job in servicing yeah. uh, our clients that way. Yeah, well, that's terrific. So, you know, you're, you're clearly a gentleman. If, uh, <laughs> if you're watching this and, and you're in a condo or even if you're in a home, and you're wondering, could you have a mold problem? Or if you haven't checked it out, uh, make sure you call uh, Rapican, call uh, Justin's company. Uh, the phone number is 905-370-0441. The website, rapidcan.ca. And uh, talk to Justin about uh, looking into the situation. Justin, thank you so much for oh, being here. Thanks I appreciate for having it. Me. Look to do it again. Thank you. It was my pleasure. And thank you for watching. I'm David Grossman. We'll see you next time here on Keeping It Real.